and welcome on into week 10 of Season of the Wish in Destiny 2. It is also the first week of Moments of Triumph, excuse me. But I'll be live this evening over on Twitch when this lady is live on YouTube. However, instead of the streaming Destiny 2 tonight, I'll be streaming uh, Dead by Daylight and its newest chapter. But keep an eye out for the stream next week as I will be streaming the complete seasonal narrative from week 1 to week 7 of Destiny 2 Season of the Wish, but for now, it is time to dive into the weekly update. Keep in mind, this is going to be a longer video due to the fact that Moment of Triumph is out, so I'll be going over all that stuff as well. But first, as per usual, let's dive into the Everest door, shall we? On the main page, we have the Splish Splash emote from Splicer. We have the Western Front Weapon Ornament from Defiance from Monte Carlo. We have the Warsat Arrival Transmat Effect. We then have the Lucid Shader. Not a bad looking one. Gives certain customers some minty green. We then have the Irradiant sh uh, Charlite. Shader from Haunted. Nice crystalline shader. On Bright Dust, we have the Cozy Campfire from the Season Wish. We have the VR Exploration from Seraph. We then have the Fire Break Shell from Splicer. Gives you a nice bulky ghost. We then have the Wanderer's, Wing, Wing, uh, Wanderer's Wings from Defiance. No, that's lost, isn't it? My bad. We then have Cosmo Starlink from Splicer. We have the Kronos Exegis weapon ornament for uh, No Time to Explain from Defiance. Gives you weapon and more of Vex feel. Then we have the Crow Projection from Hunt. We then have the Safety First Shader from Forsaken. For those of you who want to be an orange cone. We have the Chrome Stock Shader from Drifter. We have the Iridescent Coil, uh, Iridescent Coral from Undying. Gives you gives your thing a nice clean sheen on metallics. The Wielded Brass Shader from uh, Dawn. Not a bad looking one. We then have the Reef Oracle Trainer Effect from Forsaken. The Minotaur Effects from Opulence. And then lastly, Swirling Leaf Entrance from Seraph. Alright, now for the Week 10 Seasonal Challenges. For Season of the Wish, we have uh, Nahamkara Hunt. Find all seven of Queen Mara's loyal companions, the Star Cats that are found throughout. We have Throne World Activities. In the Throne World, complete bounties and earn, pro pro uh, earn progress by completing patrols, public events, and looting law sectors. Last Rites. Get Ability Final Blows in Crucible, Gambit, or Vanguard. Bonus progress is granted for Guardian Final Blows. Most Dangerous Prey. Defeat Guardians in Gambit or Crucible. Momentum Crash. Defeat Guardians in Momentum Control. Earn bonus progress with Zone Advantage. Only 50. Uh, bank Kill Repeat, 
earn points by banking moats, defeating blockers, and defeating guardians in Gambit. Only 50. Then calibrate long range. Calibrate long range weapons, your pulse rifles, bows, and trace rifles. Bonus progress are granted for defeating guardians. Right, it's a fairly sim simple week. Alright, for our rotators, over in Vanguard, our weekly GM is Lake of Shadows. I do not have the weapon on my mind at this moment. I will have it in the description below for those who want to look at the different roles for it. Uh, over in Crucible, it is not only double Crucible rewards this week, but it's also Momentum Control and Checkmate Clash for those interested, as well as Showdown. And then our rotators for the week over in the Legends tab, we have the Operation Seraph Sealed for the Revision Zero Exotic Craftable Weapon. Our dungeon, our, our raid is over on Neptune over here with Deepstone Crypt. So for those of you who still need Eyes of Tomorrow, now's your week to get it. Our dungeon's over on the moon, and it's going to be Pit of Heresy. On Neptune, our Eternal Overload Zone is this week is going to be over here in Zephyr Concourse, with the current daily Vex Incursion over here with uh, in Limming Harbor. And then tomorrow nothing, and then on Thursday will be in Ishma Park. Our week daily eat, uh, our daily loss sector is over here in EDZ. In this zone was Scavenger's Den, so make sure you have your barrier and overload equipped. And that is it for that. Let's quickly go over the different things you need to complete the uh, Moment of Triumph seal this season. You only need 26 things. Some will be completed immediately. So for your t-shirt, uh, unlock com complete 5 primes, turn up the code for the t-shirt. Uh, complete 14, and then complete 21 for the sparrow. Paracausal Adventurer. I feel like this one is not completing correctly as it should. Uh, complete a run of each year 6 raid and dungeon to earn the 23 patch. For some reason, Root of Nightmare and Ghost of the Deep is not uh, selecting itself, so... That should maybe worked out in the future. Then Action Hero, complete all heroic public events on the Armuna. Integration, Excavation, Injection Rig. Complete the campaign on Legendary. Complete all the Lost Sectors. Just fairly simple stuff. If there's anything you want to look at, feel free to pause. I'm just going to hover over them for right now. Like see, as you can tell, I'm right, like I don't know why it's not selected, but then for Crow's End, goes to the deep, and then complete the ruin. And that is it. Let me quickly go ahead and get my seal completed while we're here. But again, that is it for week 10. Hope everyone has a great week getting catch up on their stuff, getting their moments and triumphs completed. And then don't forget, while I will not be live on Twitch this evening with Destiny 2 stuff, I will be still live streaming the newest chapter over in Demo Daylight with Alan Wake. Um, the 
weekly, the complete seasonal narrative will be streamed next Tuesday, where I'll be playing from week one to week seven of the seasonal narrative in Destiny of Season of the Wish. But for now, I hope you all have a wonderful evening. Hope you all have a wonderful week, and I will see you in the next update video. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.